Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Darius, and this video is for the girls. It should cost a billion to look that good. Today we're going to try the highest rated cream fried chicken place in Chicago. I just looked it up and I think I forgot what it was called. It starts with like a I think it's called Crisp, is what it's called. I've been going through this phase of looking like a little bit crunchy and crispy and crusty um, for like about two weeks now and I'm a little bit bothered by it. Um, my hair needs to be done expeditiously. I don't know if you guys can tell but this little this little braid has been sticking out for a couple weeks. And actually ever since I got it done I don't know why it just does not want to lay down flat and it makes me so upset and I've just been really in my high school you do um, attire and today I'm gonna actually dress up because I just can't look like this today I don't know um, nothing is gonna change with my hair so um, or the fact that my beard is just not bearding right now I don't know but it's okay guys it's alright if you want to just skip to the mukbang part there's this is the time right here so don't try it the girls were raving about re their reviews they were saying um this is the, the greatest chicken I've, that, the greatest Korean fried chicken I've ever had um so I don't know but I'm gonna be the judge of it because um, the girls are, are enticing me, I guess, to go. Normally when I dress up, everyone needs to move out the way. But today, everyone seems pretty much safe, you know. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm not wearing... <laughs> it looks like I was trying to wear this. I'm not trying to wear this. I'm trying to pick which bag to wear. And I feel like I normally do, like, my Louis Vuitton bag and... <sighs> and just play it safe and my brother got me this coach bag too but I also feel like this is very um you know it's very rugged it feels like a backpack you know and I feel like that's not what the shirt is giving but I'm also giving like a you know casual jeans <laughs> a little casual jeans you know um I actually don't know what I'm doing and I'm burning up and this is so weird because this is mesh like you would assume that it wasn't and it shows all my curves which I don't really have many but um you would assume that it's like breathable, but it's just not. So I don't know why that is that way. Um, I might do this one if I tighten it up. So, you know, maybe a... <sighs> so this is the final look. I ended up going with the coach bag and I just thought about something really quickly. Like, I'm no longer in a safe space. Like, this is not, <laughs> you know, I'm not at the Renaissance World Tour anymore. You know, I have a little shoulder peak, you know, like. So I don't know. This is my first, like, um... Everyone's mad I'm giving Zendaya, like. <laughs> I'm gonna go walk in the streets of Chicago, giving kind of like a, you know, hey, what's up? <laughs> How you guys doing? So, um, and it looks like I can bust out and say, run up, run up, run up, any second. Um, and they're gonna say, okay, not on my streets. Guys, you guys are so mad that I'm giving, like, it's almost like a body, like a. turn this off and go to the car i'll see you in the car oh my gosh all right y'all i literally spent like half an hour i know that sounds like a long time but half an hour trying to figure out what i want um because i didn't really look at the menu before i got here and so they don't have like boneless wing or like chicken wings or whatever they have um strips like chicken strips and i don't know if i want a strip so i'm gonna get actually the bone in half um chicken i'm gonna get a whole order of a of a half chicken and I'm gonna do it all plain and I'm gonna get the sauces on the side. I'm giving very bee love today. I'm giving very bee love today. Um, and I also got a side of kimchi. Um, I got their super fly fries. They kind of ate because I feel like this is also super cheap, but I don't know, maybe it's the neighborhood I'm in. This might be the neighborhood I, I, I come to. Um, but anyway, so they have the Superfly fries, which were only $4.50, and then I got all the sauces on the side. I wanted to try multiple different ones, so I got their Bud's Buffalo Suicide Sauce, and that's a, a little sample cup, and I think it's supposed to be spicy, but they said it's really flavorful. Then I got the Allison's Atomic. That one is like a creamy, spicy sauce, which is supposed to be um, their most popular sauce, they said. And then I got their, um, I got blue cheese, and then um, a barbecue that is spicy as well. So... Everything I got, I guess, is spicy. I'm a, I'm, I'm a spicy king, and you guys know I love a little bit of spice. Um, but anyways, I'm, I'm excited to see what this is going to taste like. They said their chicken, because at first I was like, you know how, how I feel about bone-in chicken. They said their chicken is jumbo, first of all, um, which I'm a little bit concerned about. When I did some more reading, they said it was very much 
uh, no hormones, GMO free, um, never never frozen, fresh, never frozen. Um, so I'm excited about that. It seems like a place that like prides himself on quality, like with what I've seen so far. Um, and again, I, I saw rave reviews about this place. I forgot that I was doing a best of. This is the best um, Korean fried chicken in Chicago, apparently, um, based off of reviews and stars and ratings. So I don't know. Maybe this place is going to be delicious. I'm, I'm very excited to try it. Now, let me check out. The total came out to $25.80, which I feel like is not bad at all for a half chicken, um, two sides, and all these sauces, because I, with four sauces, I feel like if I were to go to Wingstop, it would definitely be more than that, so I'm so sorry, um, but we're gonna see if this tastes good, we'll, we'll see. I went in there, and it was packed, um, the girls were out, and I thought that was so interesting, because, like, again, they op opened probably, like, an hour ago, and usually a place like that you wouldn't think would be that. I guess it is the best, um, Korean fried chicken in Chicago, so let me not, let me not say anything too much, but also, um, not a single person in there was Korean. Which I think is very interesting. Like, I always think it's so interesting where there's, like, sp um, specified foods, like, and then, like, nobody is from that place. But whatever. Um, it was mostly, I think, black and Hispanic people. Which, I don't know what neighborhood I'm in, if that's just, like, how it is here. But I think it was very interesting to see that there was no Korean people at all. Um, so, and also a testament to why is the, <laughs> why is the, the, um... I don't know, actually. I don't know if the chefs in the back were Korean. Let me stop. But all the people in the front and all the people eating there were, were black and Hispanic. So, um, you do. Um, I think it's interesting how the, the best Korean fried chicken place has no Korean people. Um, these are all my sauces. Now, I got this, this interesting squirt. Um, this is a, a red ruby. A red ruby squirt. Can you guys, is it blurry? Probably is. Um, I feel like you have to have nails to do stuff like this. Like a, like a. <laughs> wow. That was a crisp open. That's a sniff test. I've never done this before. I'm doing too much. But I feel like this is a new experience. This is a red ruby squirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. They ate it down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the fries are, like, actually fresh. He literally, I had to wait, like, five minutes for my fries, even though I got there a little bit later than normal. Oh, probably because I asked for extra crispy fries, which this is giving very much McDonald's. Oh. Uh, that is so weird. They taste like McDonald's, but, like, a little bit stale. A little bit stale. Um, they need a little bit more salt as well, but there's a lot of fries too. Um, I don't know. Okay. They're very greasy too. Oh. Okay, I didn't know it was going to be a, a tub of kimchi. I guess I'll be taking this home. I, I don't even know what I assume because it's $5, so I don't know. Um. I got chopsticks because I feel like they didn't give me any kind of, like, you know, fork or anything. Uh oh, here's the chicken, guys, and it's piping hot, too. That's another good thing is that when there's so many people at a place, you know your food is fresh. Oh, my gosh, here it is, guys. Wow. And it is very crispy, too. All right, I'm actually really excited to try this because... Um, they're not as jumbo as the, I assumed they were going to be with the name jumbo. What is this? Do you guys know what this is? I don't even know what that is. Um, they're very crispy. This is pretty small to me for a jumbo. Um, I, and I don't know. I feel like it's very crispy and it seems like it's like fried hard, like, which is like how I like it. So I'm going to take one of these sauces out. We're going to try. This is the, oh, this is the, um, the unalive sauce. I guess I can't. I don't even know if I can say that. Um, I don't even know why it's called that, but apparently it's supposed to be hot. And I'm just gonna dip this drumstick in here, and we're gonna try it. That's what we gonna do. Um, and you guys better hope for the best. I think this will be good. I have high hopes, guys. Maybe I should have tried it without it first. Hmm. Okay. 
first of all, um, I don't know if you can see that. The chicken is very good. Um, somebody better tell Popeyes <laughs> uh, how to do it. Um, and this sauce is spicy. So, I know why they call it what they do. Wow. And it's smoking, too. This is really good. Um, what is that? Is it the bottom of the thing? Oh, there's a jalapeno in there. I was like, what is... <laughs> it was making me uncomfortable because I was putting it in there, and I felt something stopping it from going to the bottom. Hmm. Okay. So, that sauce is good. I'm going to try the kimchi. Now, I'm peculiar about kimchi because I know there's shrimp paste in it. But, I really don't care. It's fine. It's fine, guys. I'll do anything for you guys. I'm going to try it. Um, I like kimchi. Because I like the vinegary kind of like taste of it. But I and I like that it's like fermented or whatever, but yeah, I don't even think I've had it like this before. Do I take a bite of the chicken? I don't think I can just eat it raw. I'm so sorry. I mean, just eat it by itself. Let me take another sip. I'm very pleasantly pleasantly surprised by the chicken. Um, and this is so good. Um, you guys are gonna be shocked when I eat this video. Okay, should I just try? What I'm gonna do is stick these chopsticks. Oh, you can see it. Wow, perks of having a wide angle camera. Um, perfect. So I'm gonna take out this blue cheese. I've already tasted blue cheese, so it's fine. Um, I don't know what any of this other stuff is. I'm, I'm gonna say this is the um, this is the spicy barbecue. Um, and I'm gonna take the drumstick again. And also, this looks bigger than a half a chicken. Am I crazy? I don't know what half a chicken is, but this is a lot of chicken. Um, for a half. All right, this is the spicy barbecue. And I think it doesn't look like barbecue sauce, so this is going to be weird. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, I keep on forgetting. Right. Okay. Okay. I keep on forgetting that this is the highest rated. <laughs> this is the highest rated Korean fried chicken place. And so, of course, I'm gagged. Um, I'm, like, eating it like like I found the gem. Like, it, it was like, oh, I just went to this random Korean fried chicken place and it's so good. Like, no, they the girl said it was good. I should have known. Um, the girl, the girl said it was good. They're saying it's the best Korean fried chicken they've ever had. And... I don't know. Maybe they didn't lie. Um, okay. And then kimchi's delicious. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Um, they ate it down, and every sauce that I've had so far is good. So, um, that's what I was gonna say too. This, it doesn't even like behave like barbecue sauce, but this is so good. Um, and I'm assuming this one is the, um, what do they call this? I forgot, but this is the, uh, the creamy one. And that one is probably gonna be good too. Um, wow, I'm very much shocked. Um, I don't know what to say, I don't have any words. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Um, I don't know what to tell you anymore. I actually don't know what kind of chicken this is. Like, what piece is this? Can anybody tell me? I've never seen something this small. But also, like, I don't think I'm gonna eat this one. Yeah, this looks like a no. This is like a no for me. Actually, you know what? That that best can mean. Um. 
I love when I see a little bit of a ribbed meat. Um, anything other than that, I can't do. Now, what's my fries are over here? So, um, this sauce, all the sauces are so good. It's so crispy. Like, I don't even know. Can you see it? Um, you know, you had crunch. Like, this is crazy. If you guys, I'm taking my mom here. She was going to love this place. Oh. If you guys, um, come to Chicago. And you like Korean fried chicken? You need to go to Crisp. It's on Broadway, it's on Broadway or whatever they call it. Um, this is good. I don't even know what to say. Like, you guys know how I am with bone and chicken. And everything that I need in a bone and chicken for me to eat it, this has. Um, it's crispy. It, I didn't even have to ask for it to be, like, fried hard or whatever. Like, wow. That's very good. And that's why it's packed at tw 11 or 12 or whatever. Um... But can you guys hear? I don't know if you can, but it is super crunchy. And it's it, you can tell it's like good quality chicken. That's another thing too. And it's hot. Um, and when you have places like this where there's a lot of people who eat there, you know everything you have is going to be fresh and it's not going to be sitting there. Like I can just tell the chicken was not... I know the chicken was fried like when I asked for it to be fried. I mean like made to order is what I mean. Um, because it has to be in a place like that. And they also had, that's another thing I really liked, their, um, can like, canned sodas. They had so many things I had never seen before. They had a fridge that was, like, traditionally, um, I don't know if it was Korean drinks, but they were just, like, drinks I had never seen before. Like, they, they were obviously foreign. But then there were other ones in another fridge that were, like, um, like Mountain Dew, but it was like all their weird flavors. And then they had like the squirts, but they had all their weird flavors of squirts, like ones you don't typically see. And I feel like that was um, cool and iconic. And I'm just gagged by the chicken. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm hard to please. And this place is iconic. Like they actually ate. Um, and I wish it was closer to me. This is about like 15 minutes from where I live. Um, but I feel like I'm going to drop everything that I have. Um, it's so crispy. Um, if you get this place, this spicy barbecue is really good. The sauce. Now, I would recommend doing what I did. One second. This chicken is hard. Um, which I like it like that, but... I would recommend you doing what I did and what my mom does and get it, it just like plain and then do the sauces on the side. Because I feel like with, if, with, with it doused in it, it might lose the crunch. But I mean like, wow. And the kimchi too, like the fact that they ate down on the kim, in kimchi and it's almost not, it's not the kimchi itself. It's the mixture of having the chicken in your mouth with the kimchi and the, the crunch you get from the cabbage. It's so good. This is a mukbang for you. I'm 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 happy that they were able to like you guys know how I am with meat and this is just pure meat. Like <laughs> they really ate this down. They really ate it down. I don't know what to tell you. Um it was eaten down. And I'm glad I'm about to start doing these more. I don't care if y'all like it or not. I'm going to the best rated places. Because I guess you gotta listen. You gotta listen to the people who know what they're talking about. And by the people I know who know what they're talking about, I'm talking about the um, regular people. Um, because they'll steer you in the right direction. Ooh. It hates when I do that. But. Now, I think that. Um. 
if you don't like your chicken fried heart, you might not like this place as much. Um, because I didn't ask for a fried heart, but it's giving very that. Like, it's very, um... But I feel like most people like their chicken fried heart. Am I crazy? If you go to Wingstop or anywhere else, and their chicken is like... Or, and they have the option for, like, frying heart, I feel like most people be like, can I double fry it? Not most people, but if you know about it, I feel like most people are like, I want a fried heart, because it... It's something about it. And I don't know if it's a black thing. I was going to say that in the beginning, but I don't know if it's a black thing. Um, I don't want to say it's a black thing because, like, I know a lot of people like it. So, but I just know a lot. I'm saying, like, I feel like I'm, the majority of black people like their stuff right hard. Mm -hmm. I can't say for sure, but I know I do. Um, and that's what this is giving on, off jump. Um, and. Let me know if you guys like videos where I eat. <laughs> um, figuratively, figuratively and literally, so, you know. Now, I'm a little worried about this cream sauce, because I don't know how it's going to taste. But, we're about to find out. Um, I'm glad I got those chopsticks, because otherwise I would be eating that kimchi with my fingers. Um, I like it over here. It's really nice. It's like, um... I don't know how to explain how it feels. It feels like a more older kind of town, but everyone here feels like almost in the equivalent of like a native New Yorker. These people feel like they, they I feel like they've lived here for like 15 years. They're walking their dogs, they're getting their 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 bagel in the morning. Um this tastes like buttermilk ranch. Nothing really special about it. Oh, uh -oh. And the kimchi is so good. And the reason why I like the barbecue sauce is because it is like sweet, but it's also spicy. And it has a lot of Korean um, like tasting influences. I don't know like, what I'm trying to say. Seasonings or, or flavors rather. Um, which piece should I go for next? I feel like I'm not even talking about anything other than the food. That's how good it is. I couldn't tell you what pieces of chicken this was. <laughs> I'm pulling meat off of bones I ain't never seen before. What is this? A sternum? What is this? I mean, cranial meat? I don't know what that is, but it's good. That's how you know. If I'm not asking which bone I'm peeling it off of, that's your answer. My favorite, I don't even want to try the blue cheese now. These two sauces are so good. Um, this was a, the S-U-I-C-I-D-E sauce. And then this one is the spicy barbecue. So good. Both of them are so good. And it's not even... The spicy barbecue, again, it's not even what you think. It does not taste like... It doesn't even taste like barbecue at all. It's like a sweet and spicy sauce. It's really good. And then I'm drinking a, a nice, cold, crisp, red, ruby red squirt that I've never had before. Wow, guys. Wow. Um, this just made my day. Um, because I feel like I'm always like, oh, bone and chicken. Because I didn't know what they were going to have. I felt, I assumed they were going to have boneless chicken. Um, because, wow, look at this wing. I was assuming they were going to have boneless chicken because I feel like that's normal to have at a Korean fried place. I've only been a couple places, so I don't really know. Um, but then when I saw they didn't have that, I was like, oh, I have to get bone in chicken. And I was like, this is probably not going to be that good. Because I really don't like bone and chicken like that. But they shocked me. They blew me away, actually. Um, now, let's talk about Caitlyn Jenner. I don't know if you guys... 
I don't know if you guys heard that OJ Simpson um, died. I'm sure you did hear about it. Um, it happened yesterday, I think. Um, but she very much went on Twitter and was like, oh, I think she said good riddance. I can't remember what she said, but I think she said good riddance, which is such a crazy thing to say. When somebody dies. Um, but she very much, if y'all don't know the tea, she very much also, um, unalive somebody in, in a, a reckless driving incident. Or not a reckless driving incident. A vehicle, vehicular manslaughter, I think. I don't even know what it's called. Um, but it was a car accident. And so people were like, girl, you <laughs> right along there with them. Yeah. Um, because why would you even say that? Like, that's so out of pocket. And he died from cancer. Oh, this is me. Wow. Y'all better come get you one of these. Y'all better come get you one of these. Wow. The girls that get it, get it. This is so good. Um, and you guys know I'm usually just not like this. Like, especially if they have me gagged with bone and chicken, you guys need to run. Don't walk. Run to Christmas in Chicago. If you guys are in Chicago, this is so good. Um, and I'm not even like that hungry. <laughs> I said, I'm not that hungry, and I'm tearing this up. Like, I wasn't like, oh, I'm starving, you know? So, Because usually that's an excuse, like, oh, you must be hungry. No. This is just good. Um. Anyways, somebody better get Caitlyn, because she tried that. Now, somebody needs to let me know the, the tea and the beef, because I didn't know. Um, I didn't know she didn't like. OJ, like I don't understand what the lore, is, what what is the story behind that? Like I obviously know that. Sorry, I heard some weird noises. Anyways, um, I obviously know about the lawyer situation, and that's how they got the Kardashians, right? So the Kardashians are from the lawyer, and the Jenners are from Caitlyn, and. And obviously, the lawyer was worked on the OJ case, and there's speculation that Chloe is OJ's daughter. So I, that's all I know. That's all the tea that I know. I don't know. Obviously, that's not true. I don't think that Chloe's his daughter, but um, that's all the tea that I know. I don't. I know nothing else. And also, oh, I just realized that Caitlyn tried. It. <laughs> I just realized that Caitlyn tried it because you know how all the the, the kids' names start with a K. On both sides. Oh, so I, I, I'm assuming that was Chris's idea. So Chris's idea was to name all of her children with a K. Um, we already obviously knew that, right? And then Caitlyn, she wanted to make it seem like her name like was with a K, but it's actually spelled with a C. So she was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Caitlyn. I think she tried that, but <laughs> whatever. Um, that's really funny because she wanted to be different. Um, I don't know how much more of this I'm going to eat. I'm definitely going to take this home and eat this. Because, like, wow. And I have to take my mom to this place because I know she's going to tear it up. Uh, <clears throat> I think that some of the... If you don't like fried hard chicken, some of these pieces are going to be too tough for you. Um, And probably should have been, like, cooked differently because they are, like, you know, white meat cooks different than dark meat. But I like every bite. So, argue with your mama about it. Um, and my mom would definitely be jealous if, if this was near me. Because this is like right up her alley. She loves all things just like crispy chicken like this especially when it's like she knows it's gonna be fresh i just went on a random friday in the afternoon um while it was packed 
for a reason. Um, and I'm having an amazing experience, an amazing time. When have I ever talked about the food? Whenever I talk about the food for a majority of the video, that's how you know it's good. Um, and I did that with Taco Bell's thing. I don't know if anybody anybody tried it after that, but um, but I'm pleasantly surprised. And I have to call my mom after this and say, "Wow, wow, crazy good." I've been thinking about because it's so expensive where I'm at, and. Not that that's necessarily an issue, but I feel like I'd be, I could be having more fun in an area like this because there's a lot more people my age I can see walking around. Um, it seems like a younger crowd of people. I'm really with like the tourists and then like a couple blocks away from me is like where the business people are. Um, and it has like really, really expensive food you know, restaurant style. Most of it is like restaurants where you would go as a tourist, like, and they're like super, super like expensive. Um, and so it's not like a great area for me that I feel like I should be in or me and Malik rather. Um, because like, especially because this, pl this place was like, I don't know if I have a, a bad, like, um, idea of prices now that I'm in, where I'm at and, um, in like downtown Chicago, but this to me, was cheap for what I got. At the end of the day, it was still $25, which is an expensive meal, of course. But I got <clears throat> um, a half a chicken, and this is also Chicago, so I don't know. Or maybe this is still expensive. Half a chicken, um, they charge for every sauce everywhere you go, even Wingstop, y'all know it. I got all the sauces, um, this half a chicken, I got the kimchi and the side of fries, um, this drink I got separately, though. But this drink was only, like, I want to say a dollar and 80 cents. Which, again, you can, I know there's places where you can get this for a dollar or whatever, right? But I'm just trying to think of in the grand scheme of Chicago. And if things are, like, just a little bit cheaper, I feel like, um, for the amount of food, I feel like I can get something really small the, I think it's outrageous, the pizza here. Like, I love pizza, and I, I think you guys know that. I love pizza, but I cannot eat pizza in Chicago because it's so expensive. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I, normally with food, I don't care. I'll, 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 I'll um, spend the money that I want to spend on food. But I'm talking about, like, 12-inch pizzas. Like, personal 10-inch pizzas will start at $15, and they're $3 a topping. What? I think that's outrageous. If you want a medium pizza, it starts at thirty dollars. Like, I mean, I'm talking about everywhere too. Like, I'm I'm looking on a lot of places. I'm looking at are on DoorDash, but even if I go to like their people's websites, like Giordano's or Rosati's, the places that I I've been to and I like, they're so expensive. The pizza is very expensive, and I and I like to get a lot of toppings. I like like you know pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, onions. Um jalapeno peppers all of that on my my pizza and by that point if i'm getting on a 10 inch pizza i'm spending 30 bucks and i think that's crazy for a, a one a personal pizza so needless to say i haven't actually had i i got pizza from one place i got like a slice it was a little square deep dish kind of slice um and they were only it was like seven dollars or something for a slice it was about this big probably yeah about this big um, and it was good, but, and it's only pepperoni. I just feel like that's crazy. Like, I don't know. I just feel like the prices are crazy. I feel like I'm on the busiest street known to man. Everyone is on this street, which I think is very interesting as well. This is so good. This, um, ruby red score. Maybe I'm just, uh, maybe my, my dopamine receptors are, are extra charged today. And I just like everything more than I normally would. I don't know. But I stand by the fact that the girls did not lie. The girls on the thing... Because I was trying to figure out... I was like, you know it's difficult to like actually figure out 
what place is the highest rated because you don't really know because you think of like okay there's all these people that rated this right but this rating is 4.2 stars but it has 3,000 reviews but then this one has 4.9 stars but it only has 500 reviews so how do you determine which one is the better one you know like on average that that work that makes sense right like I don't understand which was the best one but then I found this one and I clicked on it and I think it had 4.7 stars and three something thousand reviews. And I was like, that's a really good ratio. If you have 3,000 reviews on there and most people put five stars and a couple people put lower than that, that's really good. Um, so I don't know. Um, I'm about to, I, I, should I review it? I don't know if that's too much. Cause I don't think I can, this is my review because I think that I can't go in there and like, I, and, and I think your face is on there. I always think it's so weird. Like, you're like, I went to this place and it was disgusting. And you're putting giving them a one star and they, they have your government address on there. And they're like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> and I don't want them to be like, oh, Darius didn't like it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just too intimate. I think it's too intimate. Um, I guess if you want to see my review, this is my review video. And it's it, what if I put a link and I said five stars, watch this video. Um, this was really good. That's all I'm going to say. Um... And I only talked about Caitlyn Jenner for three seconds. Normally, my videos are a little bit of a talking kind of video. But this one, they deserved it. They deserved all the time today. They deserved all the time today. Um, you guys heard about my little, um, my experience in Chicago and what I'm feeling right now. Did they give me any? Okay, so they didn't give me napkins. One thing that they, I will say, is that they won't, won't give me any napkins. Probably because they're, they're busy and not thinking about it. He just literally, he said, your fries are about to be done soon. Um... This is not from them, by the way. This is from my old Chick-fil-A bag. Um, but he was like, your fries about to be done soon. And then he literally, when they were done, he gave me the bag right away. So he probably was not thinking about um, silverware. I had to run in, back in, and get these chopsticks because I had a feeling they didn't give me any any utensils. Because, I mean, it's, it's just fries and chicken, so maybe they didn't think I needed any. I guess that's true, so let me stop. But um, they probably didn't think I needed any. But also, like, what did they think I was going to do with the kimchi? Maybe just eat it at home. Mm-hmm. This seems like a uh, like a kimchi that you just buy at the like convenience store or something like that, like where they make it and then like, they charge you. They make it fresh, but like you know what I'm saying. But they they um, it's more for just like at home use and not like eating it with the meal. So maybe he thought that that's what that's what I was doing. But the kimchi with this is very good too. I don't know if who all has like you know eaten kimchi and stuff, but um, this is really good with the chicken, the kimchi. <laughs> And the fries are really good, too. And they gave me a good portion of fries. This whole bag was, like, full to the brim with fries. Um, yeah, so needless to say, my experience was amazing. And if you come to Chicago and you are in the mood for chicken, um, crisp on Broadway in Chicago, Korean fried chicken is delicious. Get it plain. Get your sauces on the side. The ones I recommend are the spicy barbecue and the S-U-I-C-I-D-E sauce. Um, I don't even know if I can say that or not, but... And eat it, get it with the kimchi too. Actually, get everything I got. So, get everything I got, including the red ruby squirt. All right, I'm gonna see you guys next time. I'm just talking in circles about how good this place was. I'm so sorry. I hope that your mouth was watering and you loved it and you enjoyed it. Um, and you wanted to get this food because I feel like if I was, I don't know if this would, could make me do that. I don't know if I, if I would watching, if I was watching somebody eat bone and chicken and they're like, it's the best thing ever because I'm not a bone and chicken kind of person, I wouldn't understand. But the fact that I'm not a bone and type of person and I'm doing all this about this chicken, that's how you guys should know. Um, Wow. I just think, I don't know what, what happened it's every time. I mean, sorry. As soon as I went home to like Ohio, the, uh, like I've been drinking soda and I know that's not good. Like I haven't really, I've never really drank. So I'm not a really a, a big soda drinker. I will drink it, but I prefer like maybe a juice, um, or just like drinking water. But I've really been like craving that, like throat burning, quenching, like, it's so good, and I feel like this is hitting the spot. It's giving me a new fl a new flavor profile on my tongue, a ruby red. What does ruby red even mean? Oh, ruby red grapefruit! Uh, wow. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Wait, it says naturally flavored citrus and berry soda. Where's the berries at? Mm-hmm. Wow. I taste a little bit of mulberry, maybe a little bit of dingleberry, no, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> Let me stop. Um, okay, I'll see you guys next time with another video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if you want. I can't, like, promise videos where I, where I know the food is going to be good. But I feel like this is a different kind of thing for my channel. Like, wow. You guys are seeing me enjoy something. And I feel like that's got to be an exciting, thrilling experience for you as well. Because it's exciting and thrilling for me. So... Let me know if you want me to try other top-rated restaurants in Chicago, or like top-rated food. So like, let's say, let me, let's try to brain, brainstorm. You guys are going to be a, a part of my YouTube generation ideas committee. Let's do like, you know, different, uh, maybe, I don't know, pasta's too broad. Uh, it would have to be something specific like this. Like Korean fried chicken is like a specific thing and there's only so many places that do it. And this is the best place in Chicago that has, or the highest rated place. This was very good. Um, and I want to try other different things that are like highest rated in Chicago. So let me know what else you guys want me to try. That would be good. And then like, if you see other people commenting that things that you want to see, just like their comment and then I'll see it more often than not because it'll, it'll go up on the, on the top comments rather. Um, okay. I think I'm done talking. I love to ramble and speak in circles. So I think that's it. Um, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. Peace out. Oh, my goodness. I can't even reach over there. My chicken finger hands. I got chicken fingers for real. Um, let me do that. Do you, do you guys do that? Is that nasty? Because, I mean, it's just chicken. I'm going to eat it later, but whatever. All right, bye.